with a beer in his hand, amen, Mr. J. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're just going to go in hand. Guys, let's give it up for everybody who's been up here on the stage tonight. Come on, big noise. All right, I'm going to leave my performance up to you guys tonight. You have option one or option two. Give me option one. Come on. Somebody cheer. I'm, gonna, I'm asking you. You tell me which one you want. Option one. Okay, option two. I was really hoping for option one. It was much less embarrassing. All right. Guys, this is a warning, okay? I'm going to teach you a very, very important lesson this evening. Did you ever see the old life commercial? Feed it to Mikey, he'll eat anything. Unfortunately, I'm Mikey, which is a really bad thing to be when you hang around with a whole bunch of counterculture th kids who think it's really fucking cool to eat any medication they can get their hands on. Hey, it's green and yellow. What the hell does it do? Go get Jay. He'll eat anything. Not a good thing to be, guys. It results in many a forgotten evening. And this is one of those forgotten evenings. And unfortunately for me, a lot of people saw it <laughs> and have told me exactly what I did. I wish I didn't know. So we're going to go about it this way. We're back in the days of pagers. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I found a gray pube the other day. I am a dinosaur. It's, it's kind of nice to know. Um, <laughs> uh, my hair turns gray as I get older. That's how that happened. It was pretty easy. Now, I, there was this girl, and there's always a girl. And I went to the girl's house because she said, Hey, Jay, come smoke some pot with us. Hang out. We'll get to know each other. Have a great time. And my brain hurt titties. So I went over to Esther's house. And I got to Esther's house, and there were a couple people sitting on the couch. And they are just macrame to this shit, not moving, just. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are y'all tonight? Oh, God. Jay, go hit the bong a couple of times and catch up, okay? Sure. <laughs> take a look in the room. No, y'all are really fucked up. <laughs> I take three or four more. I get into the room. I said, okay, guys, so. What's up? I said, well, how many times did you hit the bong? You know, five or six times. Oh, no, Jay. What do you mean, oh, no? <laughs> Is it hot in here? Oh, my God. I just feel like taking my clothes off. I'm so itchy. Jay, that shit was covered with PCP. <laughs> That's about when my memory cuts out. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, I woke up two days later, had a weird sort of body uncomfortableness that was fixed mostly by a shower. Now, <laughs> now, my pager had been going off for apparently the last two or three hours, and Esther, finally interminably annoyed by whatever the hell it was I was doing, called the number on the pager. And my best friend, God bless him, <laughs> came and got my strung out, drugged up ass. And this is what he saw, he, he tells me later, when he pulled into the gated community of this apartment complex. All right, so Jay, you were down at the end of the row of the cover parking, okay? And dude, you were leaning on the back of the car, all right? And you were looking at it, and you were mad. Oh my God, dude, you were so fucking mad at that car, it was unbelievable. And you were just <laughs> giving it four men, and then you took a step back, projectile vomited all over the back windshield, <laughs> stood and admired your work, and moved on to the next car. <laughs> At which point you really fucking let that car have it too. And I mean, dude, I watched you go through five cars. After I saw you start dry heaving, I figured, oh, okay, I can get him now. <laughs> now, there is a moral to this story, kids, because there's always got to be a moral. Otherwise, you didn't learn nothing. And that moral is don't do drugs with people you don't know that well. It's an important lesson, and hopefully you learned it from me. <laughs> 